Um, I am... You're hearing some sirens behind me. Those are some additional police vehicles heading down 7th Avenue right now. Uh, Melissa? Yes. If I could interrupt you for a second. Uh, I've just... There's an urgent on the wire that something has happened at the State Department. The so a source says, we don't know yet, we hear it might have been a plane. So there's a possibility now that a plane may have slammed into the State Department in the nation's capital. That, of course, was evacuated about 45 yes. minutes ago. So. Um, hopefully, the people who were inside that building have safely um, left. There's also information, Jane, on the uh, plane uh, involved, perhaps, in this incident. It appears it might have been an American Airlines flight that was leaving Boston, heading to Los Angeles. Um, I'm, you know, we're still making. Our you know, one way to describe that is a gray plane on top, and that would be American Airlines. Um, exactly. Yeah. So. Um, again, let's go outdoors now to uh, Joe, Avalar. Joe Avalar because he is on the scene in Lower Manhattan. Uh, well, what we're standing here is we're in Soho, we're at the corner of Prince and Worcester Street, and what we're seeing is a lot of what's happening around Manhattan right now in Lower Manhattan. People were in that area and they ran, ran as far as they could, as fast as they could. I've got a group of people right here. They were all in offices right close to World Trade Center. Is that correct, sir? That's right, uh, right across the street at 1, 130 Liberty Street. You heard the explosion, and then what did you do? We heard the explosion, and uh, we didn't know if it was a uh, earthquake or whatever. And uh, they came on the PA system and said it was a bomb, but then we heard it was a plane. So then we went back upstairs because we thought everything was okay. And then uh, we heard we actually didn't see the second plane, but we saw the explosion hit the other tower, and planes just came flying towards us. And that's when you ran. That's when we went to the other side of the building and then waited to hear from the PA system. Then they said they were evacuating everybody. And then we just walked all the way up Broadway, and glad we did because the, the whole building came down. Just got out of the area as far right. as possible. And you've been trying to get through on a cell phone, too. That's been the other thing people are trying to right. do. Have you gotten out? No, not at all. Some yeah. of us have. Some I of you have gotten, you, you just managed to get a call out yeah, your cell phone. You're yeah, just trying to call friends and loved ones. Just wanted to call my husband and let him know that I was all right. <laughs> this is terribly frightening. Oh, my God. It's, it's so upsetting to know that there are all those people that... You know, people come in to work early down here, and it's it's really horrifying. You were in work today. You're still in your work clothes. You evacuated along with all your friends here. Yeah, I was with these guys. We were by the glass, and we saw huge pieces of uh, flaming debris fall, and the building shook. And then, like uh, he said before, we looped around. We went downstairs, went back up, and then we saw the second plane hit. And then shortly thereafter, we uh, evacuated the building. You stopped here. You turned. It's what everybody's doing all over the city. They get to a spot, they turn, and they watch. And you almost have to watch. Yeah, it's watch. surreal. It's like watching a movie. It's, it's surreal and it's, and it's horrifying at the same time. Yeah. What, what, what was that? Yeah, that it, that, that the top of the building, when we turned around, we just saw a big pile in the, in the road because it had just fallen down. The whole thing is gone. And now, of course, number two, World Trade Center. That's going to go down, too. It's, it's, it's gone. And then what we're looking at, spin around, we can see the picture from, this is from where we're standing. We're a good old 20 blocks or more from the World Trade Center as we're standing here. And you can see the flames. Have, you see where the hole is. And you can see how the hole, the original hole is, which is in the middle of the building. And if you look at it, you can see how the hole has grown. Also, the flames below, maybe 10 floors below now, those flames have spread from the original fire. We've seen with binoculars, there have been people out here with binoculars. They've seen people in the building there are still people in that tower. Another ambulance screaming through the area. You were, now, you were, in, that, you were in that area yes, today. Yes, I was. I was on 299 Broadway when I felt a huge vibration. Thought it was an earthquake. Didn't know what it was. People were running across the street, barefooted, some crying on the floor, almost like a stampede was occurring. Everybody just ran. This is where I'm at now. I don't know how many blocks I ran. I almost caught asthma by the time I stopped. Lost my cell phone. I can't even call my family right now. And... And that's the big thing, of course, all the New Yorkers are trying to do. Everybody who is in that area, everybody who is in the city today is trying to get through either a cell phone or finding a store or something. I did the same thing, trying to call the family, trying to call a loved one, telling them that you're okay. Talk to someone who was in the building, in, had just gone into one of the World Trade Towers. When it all happened, he said from where he was in the lobby, there was a flush of debris and a flush of fire down one of the elevator shafts. He actually was singed and he was in the lobby. This gentleman here, where are you coming from? Uh, I was in the Century 21 building. On so the, you were downtown too? Right. Our office points right at the, uh, the buildings and we're so accustomed to seeing people of all walks of life down in the, down in the lobby and everything and, and every day and then all of a sudden this happens at 9 in the morning and 
Fire came out from all sides of the building. And to us, we thought bombs went off or something, but apparently planes uh, went. But it's a sad, very sad time for America. What we're going to do is we're going to turn back to the, to the tower right here. We're going to send it back to you. And of course, what everybody is thinking is that our prayers are with the people who are in that tower. Back to you. Okay, thank you, Joe. Get an update on the State Department real quick. Uh, apparently it was a car bomb that exploded outside the, the State Department. That's according to senior U.S. Mm -hmm. law enforcement officers. Uh, the State Department had been evacuated uh, previous, apparently, to this bomb. So one can only assume that the people that were in that building got out um, safe and sound. We certainly hope that they did. Uh, let's go to Walter Perez. Um, Walter is downtown in lower manhattan okay now as you can imagine ralph now, as you can imagine there's a pretty frenzied scene out here just a few moments ago i'd say about 20 minutes ago we're not sure exactly what it was we have not confirmed it but something either exploded or fell off the side of the one building that was attacked and caused a massive plume of smoke as we turn left you can see there's a trucks go by that they are spitting off smoke these were the emergency trucks and ambulances that were near the building at the time that that had happened at that point, it wasn't so much of a frenzied scenario because people were walking away from the building. This entire region has been cordoned off and people who are working in nearby buildings were told to leave and evacuate the area for obvious reasons, for safety concerns. When that second plume of smoke came up from the ground area, people started running, people were covered in soot, there were people with blood on their shirts, uh, rips in their shirts, and at this point, looking up at the top of the building at a rate of about one every five minutes, you see people that are jumping from the top of the building. It is an absolutely harrowing scene, harrowing scene at this point. Uh, police officials told us to evacuate the area that we were in. We moved about two blocks further, but the scene is very, very similar. Plumes of smoke all around the area and people not exactly sure what's going on. All the telephone lines are jammed up as people are trying to communicate, not just police to other people, but folks who saw what happened, trying to communicate uh, loved ones and let them know that they're safe. So it's a, a very hectic situation at this point. As we gather more information and we're sure we're settled where we're supposed to stop, we'll get back to you because at this point, police are still not sure where we should be. And as you can see, a lot of police activity, they're trying to move the media to a safe area so we can do proper reporting and let everybody know exactly what's going on. For now, back to you. Walter, have they given you any indication? I'm sorry, he can't hear me. All right. Uh, we just, we simply do not know who has been hurt and what casualties might have occurred, which is the yeah. information that we are, uh, I want you to take a look at what's happening yeah. right now. Oh. That is a live picture. That's, World that's a live Center picture too. That's World Trade Center 2 has just collapsed. That's the second oh my God. to collapse. We are now looking at An the collapse scene. of the second of the World Trade Towers. World Trade Center towers. Um, again, this is something that we oh never dreamed we would witness in our lifetime. Let us tell you that to come into this city right now, you will not be able to. The bridges, the tunnels shut down, subway lines, trains pretty much closed. Um, the New York Stock Exchange. No, just a moment ago, the entire top of the building collapsed. You can see a massive plume of smoke. People are running away from the area. There are firefighters and there are police trying to evacuate the area as quickly as possible. People who are near the area are in an absolute frenzied situation. The entire top of the building just collapsed. You can see the plume of smoke is coming in our direction. Let's get out of here, Ralph. We're going to leave because the smoke is coming right at us. Obviously, this is a devastating They're moment gone. Look in at our that. history. They're gone. The World Trade Center is, is no more. What we do wrong. not know at this point. Uh, the extent of injuries or casualties, uh, how many people were in these buildings trying to get out. We've seen some gut-wrenching descriptions, witness uh, accounts of people hanging out of windows, jumping, trying to get to safety. You see the obvious. Look at the plume. All right, let's go to NBC News right now. We are back at 1030 Eastern time on this Tuesday morning, this horrific, incredible not to be believed Tuesday morning. You are looking at live pictures of the World Trade Center where just a few minutes ago, within the last minute actually, the second Twin Tower collapsed. Just to recap, if you're just joining us, around 8.42 Eastern Time this morning here in New York City, a plane crashed into the right Twin Tower of the World Trade Center about two-thirds of the way up the building, leaving a huge gaping hole, a huge fire, and tons of billowing smoke. About 25 minutes later, a second jet, believed to be a 727, 737, or a 737, some reports of a 757 even, then crashed in the second twin tower, 
The first plane, incidentally, was en route from Boston, Massachusetts.